Hi everyone, whenever I do a food in resin experiment, there's always one comment that keeps popping up. Do a mushroom. So while I was out shopping last night, I picked up a couple. Now after doing some research, it looks like these can last for about a week if kept in the refrigerator. So it's going to be really interesting to see how long they last encased in resin. Now I think this one might be a little too big. And this one might be a little too small. And this one's missing its stalk. So I guess I'm left with this one. Now before I go casting this one in resin, the first thing I need to do is pour myself a little base layer so it's got something to sit on. So now the resin's all cured, it's time to stick down the mushroom. Now I think I might do it the same way I did with the strawberry, and use a toothpick. Before I stick down the mushroom, let's take a close look. Now this one looks to be in really good shape. There's no chunks taken out, no nicks or scratches, so it's going to be really interesting to see if anything happens. Let's hope that holds. So it's now time to do the main pour, and for that, I'll be using a casting resin. Now all my smaller pressure pots are full at the moment, so we're going to have to stick this mushroom inside a Freddy.
Well, it's now been six months since I put that mushroom inside of Freddy, and unfortunately, I got some bad news. Now, we all saw that mushroom rise on pot cam. Well, that exposed the top, so what I had to do was mix up some more resin to pour over it to cover it up. Now, the bad news is, all the footage of me doing that has disappeared. I can't find it anywhere. So the last known picture of that mushroom is this one right here. Now from memory it did come out looking pretty good, but because we have no video of it, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Now as you guys know with my other food in resin episodes, I try and keep the same piece of food out in the workshop for the same amount of time. That way we can compare it to the one in resin to see how it holds up. And in my hand is the mushroom. Look at that. It's shriveled up so much and it's so light. It's like a little marshmallow. Check out how it looks underneath. So now that we know what happens to a mushroom that's been left for six months, let's check out one that's been preserved in resin. Look at that. That looks really good. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's almost in perfect condition. So I was just editing this video and Nicole said to me, did you show them the ones in the fridge? I said, what mushrooms in the fridge? She put the original ones in there six months ago. Let's take a look. Oh, it's two of the larger ones. Wow, they're hard as a rock. A lot different to the one that was left in the workshop. That was all soft and squishy. How about that? Thanks, Nicole. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If there's a food you want me to put in resin, please let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.